let's take a look at an AC soft latching switch. Now I want to control an AC load and I want to do it with one button, press on and press off. Okay, And I'm going to use the uh, MOSFETs to, uh, to switch the AC load here. So the latching part is over here and all this is it's a uh, Schmidt trigger inverter. So what these inverters do is that if, if you have uh, zero volts here, you're going to have five volts here. If you have five here, you're going to have zero over here. The circuit's going to be off. Okay, But we have five volts on here and it's charging this capacitor through this 10K resistor. Now, when I press the switch down, this capacitor is going to discharge into to, uh, one here. It's going to make this five volts. This is going to be zero. If this is zero, this is going to be five over here and the unit's going to turn on. Now, if this is zero, this capacitor is discharged through to ground here. So when I press the button back down, it's going to take this five volts here and bring it to ground, make it low. So there's going to be zero, five here, five and zero here and the, the, these are going to switch off. Now I'm t using two MOSFETs and they're back to back. The sources are tied together and then the drains, I'm running the, uh, the circuit through the drains here and the gates are tied together. So they come on at the same time. And what happens if the, uh, the, volt the current's going this way, it'll go through this from drain to source, but here it can't go from source to drain through here, but it can go through the, uh, the uh, diode that's in here. So it runs through this one and through this diode, and then when it's going in the other direction, it'll go through this, this MOSFET and then through this diode here, and that's how the AC is going to work. Now, you have to tie, you, we need voltage between the, the ground and the source to, to energize it. So I'm putting five volts on here, and the source, I'm running it through a, uh, actually I think I have a 10 microfarad capacitor on here. And uh, now you can just take this straight to ground, but uh, I'm just running it through the capacitor. Um, I don't know, it might be a little safer, but uh, you can just tie that straight to ground. So, but this is only 12 volts AC. So that's, uh, that's how it works. And I'm gonna, we're gonna give it a try. So here it is here. I've got uh, 12 volts coming in here. I'm going to turn the 5 volts on. Now eventually I'm going to take the 5 volts off the 12 volts AC and rectify it and give me 5, uh, five volts for the uh, Schmidt trigger there. And I press it on, press it off, on, off, on, off. And it's controlling the, uh, the AC here coming through there. So uh, that's all there is to it. Very simple little circuit and uh, controls the AC. Now it's uh, you can use a triac, but a triac will um, it, it they dissipate more heat. They they'll um, usually have about a volt and a half drop across them, and these have very low uh, forward resistance on them, so uh, they'll be a little bit more efficient. And uh, and you can actually uh, you know put those in parallel. So uh, cost is a little bit more, but it's uh, more efficient than a uh, than a triac and uh, dissipate less heat. So that's uh, that's all there is to it. Thank you.